Hi everyone. Today we are going to show you how to participate in the governance process on the injective chain by proposing a spot market, perpetual market and an expired futures market. First we go to the staking.injective.network and we connect our wallet. You can only use MetaMask or Ledger at the moment and if you are using Ledger you should connect it directly and not through the MetaMask implementation for hardware wallets. And unfortunately at the moment Trezor is not supported. So we click on MetaMask. And after we see the pop-up, we confirm that the address is correct and connect to the staking dashboard. Next, we click on the governance button in the header and we'll see a list of active proposals. First, before diving into proposals, let's talk a little bit about the governance process on the injective chain. One of our primary goals at Injective has always been to create a new financial paradigm that is wholly owned, operated and governed by the community. A critical component of achieving this vision is to enable robust decentralized governance so that our vibrant community can continue to spur new innovation for years to come. These changes and upgrades are based on governance proposals. We already wrote this about, uh, about in a blog post, which we are, we are going to link in the description below, but let's quickly go through the proposal lifecycle. First, the users need to fill in the proposal form on the staking dashboard. The user must deposit at least one INJ to the proposal. After successfully submitting the form, the proposal goes to the deposit period. In this period, the community contributes, contributes to the proposal by depositing INJ. If the minimal deposit, uh, deposit required for the proposal is not reached within the deposit period, the, pr the proposal gets rejected. If the minimal deposit, uh, when the minimal deposit requirement is reached, the proposal goes to, to the voting stage. In this stage, only actively staked tokens are considered for voting, in which the weight of a voter has, is determined by the amount of INJ staked. Everyone, including the validators, can vote on a proposal with yes, uh, no, uh, no with veto and abstain. While in the voting period, several conditions must, uh, must be satisfied for the proposal to pass. Uh, the quorum must be reached, which is 33.4%, which means that more than 33.4% of the total stake tokens must vote, and the threshold of 50% of the votes that participated had voted in favor of the proposal. Depending on these and several other conditions, the proposal is either accepted or rejected. There are several proposals a user can make, but within this walkthrough, we are just going to focus on, uh, on three. And those are launch a spot market, launch a perpetual market, and launch an experience futures market. So let's start with the first one. We select this launch a spot market in the proposal, and we, uh, we are shown with this form. So let's go through the fields together to explain what each of them means. The title is your proposal title. It's a headline for your proposal. The description is your proposal description. In detail, you should explain why do you want to propose such market and convince the community to vote for your proposal. The ticker is the ticker you want to use for your market. The base denom uh, is the asset you want to trade and we are going to select some random market here. Let's use UFT. The quote denom is the asset which, uh, via which the chosen asset is the domain, uh, denominated by and the, for example usdc or usdt so but let's for the example let's choose some random one if you don't see the denom here in the drop down list you can always create a new denom and we already wrote a detailed guide about this in the blog post which we are going to link in the description below so let's fill in the the title for this proposal and here we should write a detailed description but since this is a walkthrough let's just type something short And 
And finally, we have to deposit at least one J, one INJ to submit the proposal. After we fill the form, we click Propose and sign the transaction. If the transaction is successfully proposed, uh, successfully completed, we see the market, the proposal shown in the in the deposit section. We are going to showcase the rest of the phases for a proposal using the market, uh, the perpetual market launch proposal. So let's close the, the selection for the proposal and select launch a perpetual market. Let's go again and explain the, the fields together again. So we already discussed about the first three fields. So let's just fill them up. And select a quote genome. Let's just say, let's use GRT maybe. And next we need to fill the details for the Oracle. An Oracle is a third party or decentralized uh, data feed services that provide external data or off-chain data into the blockchain. For the derivative markets, we use the Oracle to get real time prices for the assets we are going to use for the market. So we, we can select three types of Oracles, Coinbase, price feed and band. So for this uh, walkthrough, we are just going to use Coinbase. The Oracle base should be selected based on the base asset we are using for the market. For our example, let's use link. The Oracle quote as the Oracle base should be also selected based on the quote asset we are using for the market. In this example, it's USD. This means uh, that for our perpetual market, we have selected an Oracle that will, that will feed us with the, BT, with the link and USD prices, which will be combined to, for, to form the price in real time for our proposed market. The Oracle scale factor refers to the number of decimals to scale an Oracle price by in order to be compatible with the ERC20 token decimals. For USDT, the scale factor is six. And we use six because USDT is usually the most common use denominator uh, quote for perpetual markets. The rest of the fields have nice explanations, which you, which you can see by hovering the, their tooltips, as you can see here. Just to note that for the market, uh, for maker and taker fee, the pre-filled amounts correspond to 0.01 uh, percent fees for the makers and 0.02 percent fees for the taker and the mean price tick size and the mean quantity tick size are indicators for the minimal tick sizes for the price or the quantity can be for example for a 0.001 tick size users cannot long or short BTC amounts lower than 0.001 same applies for the mean quantity tick size so let's just fill in the rest of the details. We need to deposit, we propose the market and sign the transaction. And now, as we can see, we have the perpetual proposal here. So now we click on the market and we can see the details for the for our market. In order for this market to be moved to the voting stage, we need to deposit 999 INJ. So let's do that. Of course, the community can also chip in and deposit deposit to this proposal. So let's just deposit a couple of times. So as you can see, I have 994 INJ left to deposit. So let's just do that. And after 
and after I we deposit the minimum requirement we, we deposit the minimal require required and J we see that the proposal goes to the voting stage now let's vote for our proposal we click on the yes here and sign the transaction after the transaction is completed we can see that we have voted with our total state amount for this proposal and now it's up to the community to vote within the voting period at the end of the voting period if the proposal satisfies the minimum requirements it will be accepted and our market will be created and after the market is created you will be able to trade on it on our exchange so let's go back to the governance page and finally we have the expired futures market the only difference with the perpetual market launch proposal is that we have the expired the expiry date for this market which is currently set for the end of the second quarter of 2021 in the future we'll make this expiry date custom so the user can select the exact date for their expiry futures market and that's it you, you can now propose and launch your own markets on the injective chain so thanks for watching and see you in the next one